All right, so we're gonna take a look at a push-up, and I have Gabe here who's gonna demonstrate my lovely model, Gabe. All right, Gabe, so if you could, let's start, let's start with just this. This is an actual push-up. Go ahead, Gabe, we'll do a few repetitions. You keep going, and I'll start pointing out what we're looking at. So, ideally, just stop at the top if you could, Gabe. Okay, look at this. Shoulder to heel, he's like a straight board. This is called a plank position. So a true push-up, you start in a plank position. Notice when he goes down, he's trying to actually get chest to floor because the actual protocol, stay there, for a real push-up is that your shoulder needs to drop lower than your elbow. So that becomes key. All right, so come right back up, Gabe. Let's do a few more reps. Notice how he's controlling the motion down and up because muscles work in both directions. Awesome, that's a push-up, straight forward. Now, the reality is on your knees, sit up. The reality is that not everyone can do the military style push-up. So we're gonna start taking a look from easiest to progressively get into doing a perfect military push-up. And the first thing we're gonna do is take a look at wall push-ups. All right, so in our progression to actually getting to a military style push-up, we're gonna start from the easiest way of doing a push-up and it's called a wall push-up. All right, so Gabe's demonstrating the wall push-up and very simply, he's standing uh, vertical and he's gonna lean right into the wall and then push himself away. We're still gonna look for the same protocol and that is his shoulder dropping lower than the elbow. Go ahead, do a few repetitions here. Beautiful. Now this is very easy, anybody can do this. To make a wall push up a little bit more difficult, Gabe, take one step back if you could. The further the legs come back, the more resistance we're adding. So go ahead, do a few repetitions there. So the exact same movement, we're looking for the same range of motion, but this is a little bit harder only because his feet came back a little bit more. We'll stop there. And we could probably go back a little bit more, but really not too much before it starts to look really awkward. Good, you might want to lower your hands a bit. Yeah, good, go ahead. Yeah, beautiful. So once you get to the point of doing wall push-ups, stop. Once you get to the point of doing wall push-ups, at the furthest you can go, the next for us, the next move for us, is gonna be doing push-ups on a bench. All right, so now I have Gabe who's gonna demonstrate uh, the push-up on the bench. And this is just a progression towards doing a correct military style push-up. So coming off of wall, uh, wall push-ups, if that's too easy, we now advance to the bench. So the bench just offers a very similar angle, but a little bit more, a uh, greater angle than the wall would therefore offer. So go ahead, Gabe. Protocol will always stay the same, that we're still trying to get the shoulder to drop lower than the elbows. And just remember to control the movement in both directions, because muscles work in both directions. Very simple, straightforward. And the next move for us uh, from the bench is gonna be to start doing push-ups, but on the knees. Great, now here's the first serious progression towards the military style push-up. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Gabe demonstrate um, the push-up but done on the knees. So we're actually eliminating a substantial amount of your body weight to allow you to perform this, uh, this exercise correctly but without the exact type of resistance we're gonna get when we're doing a full military push-up. So this is the push-up done on the knee. Very important, this is where we're starting to engage uh, what's called a plank position. That is a perfect straight board-like position. Gabe, go ahead, all the way down. And again, we're looking for the same protocol of the shoulder dropping lower than the elbow. And this becomes a key factor in measuring a, an accurate repetition. Once again, muscles do work in both directions, so please make certain that you're not dropping or free-falling during one part of the movement. Awesome, stop right there, good. All right, so once we've mastered uh, the knee push-up, we're then gonna go straight into uh, half of a military, half of the knees. This is the last stop before you're forced into doing the real deal. So what Gabe's gonna do is he's actually gonna start in a full plank position. This is exactly how we would do a military style push-up. And the reason we can start in this position is because you're actually stronger going down than you are coming up. So what Gabe's gonna do is, the first half of the push-up is gonna be military all the way to the floor, but then he's gonna come up on his knees. Go ahead, Gabe. So dropping the shoulder below the elbows, and then here he's gonna come up clearly on his leg, but still a plank position, and then he's gonna come up into a full plank dropping his shoulder below his elbow. We'll do a few repetitions. Coming up on his knees, 
plank and then full plank. Beautiful. Come up on his knees, plank, and then a full plank. Awesome. Here's what's going to happen. As you progressively keep doing this, you're going to start getting so good at it that the position is going to become less halting. And eventually, it's going to start looking like you're almost doing a wave with your body. And then once you get that rhythm going, the next step is going to be going from a wave to that you're not really pausing anymore. And guess what you're doing? Full military push-ups. And there you have it.